This video is a continuation of, uh, of a previous video uh, in which we took the text from from a medical journal. Uh, it's just an article about uh, what's called an inhibitor, uh, KIT, and its relationship to melanoma. Um, we took the first three paragraphs and we created some summaries, um, and then we built some some code. So this is this is what we call coding. Uh, in, in qualitative data analysis. It's simply the process of taking large texts, uh, breaking them down and breaking them down even further so that we can kind of trace uh, trace what's happening over time uh, and, and across different texts. Uh, so in this video, uh, as the title says, I'd like to show you how to save this file in order to export these different codes and analyze them in Excel. So let's uh, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, it's quite simple. You just want to go. You're gonna want to go to Save As uh, for your document. Uh, I'll just use the desktop. Let's say um, melanoma article. Let's say uh, comments. You know, or let no, not comments. Let's say coding. Now this is important. What you want to do is go down here to the file format, and you want to try to save this as a web page. Uh, the reason for this, as you'll see in a moment, is that when we open it as a web page, the, the, the way that the behind the scenes in Word, the way it saves when we switch it to an, a .htm, is that the comments all go to the bottom in a, in a, in a really organized fashion. So we're going to do this. Uh, we're going to save it to the desktop. Go ahead and do that. You can see that it, it kind of takes a different format here. Uh, because it's still being it's still in Word, uh, but let's go ahead and if you look here, you see that there's the HTML uh, format. Let's go ahead and double click that. It'll open up as you see in your browser, and if you scroll to the bottom, boom, you can see that you have all of your different texts and you all of your different codes. So let's go ahead and copy them. And what's good about this is you also have a little bit of information on these are my initials. Uh, and we are going to add a few bits of additional information. So let's open up just a worksheet. Uh, we'll actually make a little database out of this. So so here you go. Let's we've copied them. Let's go ahead and paste them. And it's awesome because it gives us each in their own little cell. And now we have all of this information um, about the code itself. So now let's go ahead and if I was working in Windows, I would probably actually take these and put them into a text editor first because it's a little bit easier just to separate um, the different pieces of information. Um, because right here, what we want to do is really we want we want to get rid of the NG or the, the, the initials and the number of the comment and we want to say well we really just want the code itself so in this situation I mean we can use uh, we can wrangle a little bit in Excel um, this is just a I guess we can call this a small data analysis skill um, where we're going to try to use uh, text so let's say we want to do the length we want to grab From the right, this cell, and we want the, the length of our right to be the, the entire cell. So I want, oh, I want it to be the entire cell, but we want that to be minus four. A little bit more one two three four let's say it looks like it needs to be minus six and now we've got our code so what we can do here is just drag this down and we'll end up with the right uh, the right amount here because essentially what the what the formula is doing that I, that I just showed is it's saying okay go to this cell a1 grab all the text starting from the right so we got start go to a1 grab all the text starting from the right 
but now I'm going to modify that number and say, well, the length that I want you to take starting from the right is the entire amount of A1, but minus six characters. And the reason for that is because there's a little space here. There's the open bracket, my initials, one, and the closed bracket. And so that, that ultimately comes out to, to six, six characters that I just want to get rid of. And I drag it down. But you see here that because the digit goes from 9 to 10, we've got an additional place. So we just need to open this up and add an additional, an additional number to these to these cells and then look now we've now we've got now I've got really everything we need um, if we want to also kind of get more information or we, we want to separate out the initials and, and the comment number then we might say something like okay so go to this cell well go to the left of cell a1 and grab the first six characters now I have it so we'll do the same thing drag it down but we know that right here we're going to have a little bit of problem. We need to take this and go to seven, and boom! Now, now, now you have your 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 code. Let's go ahead and do a copy. Let's put it back here and do just paste the values. So now there's no more formulas in these cells. This is the raw data, and we can take all of these including 13 and we can just delete them. And now you've got now you've got your code in Excel.